So it's been nearly over 14, 15 years since the last sort of recession. A recession has been happening on average every 10 years over the last two centuries. So we are like long overdue for upcoming recession. And there's this guy named Noriel Rubini, who apparently was the only person that actually predicted the 08 recession. So I have no idea what, what does it mean to actually predict the recession. Let's go ahead and do some research and check out who this person is. My name's Andy Mai, I'm 22 years old. I'm the founder of Stunning.com. We're on track to grow to a million dollars per year. I'm here just to document my journey from zero to a million to 10 million to a billion dollars. And I just wanna document this journey on YouTube channel, just like I've been doing over the last four years and I have nothing to sell you whatsoever. Let's jump right into today's video. Okay, let's search up. No, wow, okay. He's an economist. Let's go to his Twitter first. I usually get a, people, a vibe of people through their Twitter. Let's check his Twitter. He's basically an economist. So he does economic forecasts, interesting. Okay, let's go to his website. He's written quite a amount of books. Continue on economics, interesting. Let's go to YouTube. Let's just search his name. Curious to see if he has any predictions. He's predicting mild inflation or stagflation. I fear that uh, the global economy is going to remain uh, fragile. Uh, there was supposed to be a strength in economic growth, but we are now witnessing a slowdown of growth. Interesting. So saying that we're going to continue printing money because we're in a debt trap, where if you don't print money, we're not going to be able to pay everyone's debt. So that means we're going to be going through long-term inflation. So there's all these sort of supply shocks. And when there's a supply shock, how does that affect things? Let me go over that part again. Decreases growth and increases costs cost of production. Of production. Cost of production. So let's go to stock market in 1970s. Oh, wait, we saw this massive crash here. So it shows that in the 70s, there was a pretty big crash and it just stayed low for a period of, wow. So that means we could go through a period of just like 10 to 15 years of just, everything's just slow. Things are going up, down, on a sort of downward trend. Like we're not, we, we might have a pretty decent crash, but we're not gonna recover in four or five years. It's just gonna, just gonna just be steady for like 10, years 10 15 years so by then i'm gonna be like 35 37 or something which is just crazy to think about interesting prediction but why does this say it went up 16 breather 16 year breather wow interesting so that is noriel's rubini prediction on what's gonna happen pretty interesting guy sounds like i sort of understand what he's trying to say and apparently he's one of the guys that predicted the 2008 recession. So he has a lot of credibility. He's been given a lot of credibility by, uh, what's this image? <laughs> Nassim Taleb, who is the writer of The Black Swan. So you should really, like if he's predicted things before, um, then you should really listen to this guy. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's me just putting research into people and things I wanna learn. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's drop a comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like this video. Peace.